Hello, YouTube family. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. Dex Winkerman, Latoya yeah. Chocolate Divinity. <laughs> it's not cute not knowing. And it's not cute when you threaten Dexter. Yeah. Oh, it sure ain't. Here's the story. Nelly was in concert in Palm Springs. Mm -hmm. And when he's performing, he likes to come out and greet the fans. Yeah. Well, a fan pulled him off the stage. Oh, okay. He's okay. All right. But Dexter, pick the story up. So he, this happened, and I saw a post mm -hmm. on the shade room, and like, if you got like the same way you guys comment on here, you say like funny things, like that's what we do in the shade room too. Yeah. So like I did that, and I said, you know, all twenty two people in attendance at the show, like they they seem very concerned. I mean, that comment got a lot of traction. People started to like it and laugh at it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Nelly saw it and got wind of it and was like, you know what? I there were more people at that show than you have followers, chump. Oh. Okay, like I get it. Like I, I, I we good there. He like went to I, your page. He, I mean, a fan. He's a fan. <laughs> obviously, obviously, Nelly is a fan of mine. Like that's just, it's just what it is. It's yes, not a, it's not I, heavy. Because the greatest part about it, after I saw him do that, I said, I said he must have blocked me. So I went to his page. I wasn't even following. Him. I never even followed him. So oh. you went to my page more times than I've been to yours. Oh. But I am a fan of Nelly though. I do like his music. I'm but not he, no fan he was here a couple weeks ago, and I was at the show. Really? It, it, it was for free show at, at Xfinity, but I was there. You had to throw free in there? But well, it was free. It was outside. Well, okay. You really like Nelly, <laughs> mm -hmm. but this is before you got engaged. Yes. Nelly had the woman of your dreams. Mm. And he did her dirty. He held mm. her. He held her right here. Right right underneath his bosom. Say, yeah. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, Ashanti. Stroke your head. Let me afterwards. stroke your head. Maybe, maybe it's PTSD. That's, that's why I, I responded. I just <laughs> saw Nelly on that stage and I just got yeah. mad and started like, <laughs> You was with my woman. <laughs> he said, your woman? <laughs> you hurt my woman. Nelly, I'm sorry. He <laughs> said, you can have her. But you can't be threatening people you down, can't. That, down. Now that is extreme. And what fan, happened? His is. fans got cr like when he responded. His fans started to see it, and then they just went to his defense and they start DMing Stop. me, saying like, "I'll slit your throat out." Now you. that's you don't talk, like, and that's like, too much. And at that point, I was like, "You know what? Let me just delete the comment and just." You know what? You got confused. You must have thought you was on Andrew's page. <laughs> talk about Andrew you, Caldwell. Andrew Caldwell. If I, <laughs> he doesn't even respond. He leaves it alone. But people, everybody drags him. Down exactly. That's where you got confused. You thought it was it was Andrew, well, but it was well, Nelly. <laughs> well, Nelly, you can't you can't be threatening. Yeah, or Dexter. Don't do that. It was an amazing moment last night. To the People's Choice Awards when mm -hmm. Kevin Hart walked on that stage. Wow. He could have died in that car crash that happened okay. on September the 1st. And we really thought he was much worse than he was. Mm -hmm. And he is so lucky to be alive. But he walked on that stage, everybody. Wow. And it's good to see Kevin Hart, you know, back on his feet. Mm -hmm. I do wonder, is he still in some kind of pain? Because right. that was sure a serious accident. And he had yeah. to have his spine Fused in three places, mm -hmm. the new music music movie, Jumanji, comes out in December. Mm -hmm. Lifetime is doing a movie on Salt and Pepper. You know, I'm nice. here for this. Yeah. Yes. The casting, they're, they're a little off. All the girls that are playing Salt, Pepper, and Spin are either light-skinned or biracial. Now, what do we mean by light-skinned? They're lighter than me. <laughs> then you're light. If you're lighter than me, you're light. You couldn't find one brown skin <laughs> actress that knocked it out the part. Saw, so, I get it, because she was very right, right. fair skinned. Yeah, but not but Pep and not Pep Cinderella. And Spin, you couldn't, it wasn't no yeah. cute. Brown skin, talented actresses. They're like, they couldn't get the they couldn't get the lines right. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, lifetime. It's lifetime. Cuba Gooding Jr., his girlfriend went berserk on him in a what? bar in Miami. Yes. What? She liked the drink. He liked the drink. Oh, birds of a feather. They them they them the fighting party. drunks. Yeah, they the fun couple at or we're not the so fun couple at the parties. Uh -huh. Ooh, but Probably yeah. In my house again. Cops had to escort her out. Yeah. Do you think she's mad because there's so many women coming forward sure with? No. <laughs> she knew. probably went down there and bailed her out. You know how they'd be doing. Your cousins be doing. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> fighting and stabbing each other. Chiba Gooding go Jr. You. got himself a fighting girl. Mm. More details about a song for you. The book by Robin Crawford comes out tomorrow. Okay. Dex, you gonna go get it? I, I, absolutely. I want to read this mm. now because of you. Okay. We've got more to share. Uh, 
her relationship with Eddie Murphy, she really liked him. But mm -hmm. he was one of them hot and cold dudes. Mm -hmm. Oh, because he was popping then. I see it. You ain't know what you was getting. Yeah. You know, one day you're hot, one day you're cold. I don't like what you're watching that. What we doing here? Apparently, Bobby Brown was the backup. Oh. Like when you keep some in the back pocket in case you know? this one don't work out mm -hmm. and you got to go to the back pocket. Yes. Like that. The way yes. You, that back out, you stay right here, Bobby. That is interesting. Hmm. Eddie Murphy gave um, Whitney a diamond ring oh, that was more expensive and more diamonds in it than the one that Bobby gave her. As he should have. Mm -hmm. She turned them diamond rings into earrings. Yeah, recycle, reduce, reduce. So do you think that Whitney got tired? Like, you're not going to take me serious? For yes, sure. every woman gets has a breaking point. Yeah. She, which is also probably why when he called on her wedding day, she Thank was like, stop you. playing with me. Get that. out of here. Mm. Bye. Yeah, yeah, she said, yes, I am getting married. Yes, I am, according <laughs> yeah. to Robin. <laughs> yeah, well, Robin keeps describing Bobby as annoying. Nobody from the Houston, the Brent, nobody has said anything. And they always maybe talk this about. week, and they're always talking. Mm -hmm. Give us some time. But she, I mean, she kept saying it like Bobby was annoying. Come he here. was annoying. Come in here yelling. He was annoying. We ring. know who you are <laughs> with your little Gumby haircut. We want to, we want to get to the part of the book, the fight. Yes, please. The straw that broke the camel's back. She you. also talks about Bobby Christina, who at the time of her death was missing teeth. She was definitely abused. For sure. She was in an accident, a car crash, where the hood was, was crashed in. Mm. Now, the guy in question, Nick Gordon, he's been held legally responsible. He's supposed to pay the family $36 million. They ain't seen nothing. Well, they ain't, ain't going to see nothing. He don't have $36 million. Exactly. $36 yeah. dollars probably. But, but, but Bobby Chris, to have missing teeth. She was abused. Was it like drug use too, or is it just like... No, they probably were knocked out. Mm -hmm. They were probably knocked out. Mm -hmm. Tamar Braxton, she's trending for the wrong reason. What's she going to do with that? She claims that a man is gay if he doesn't touch you in three or four or ten days. I thought that statement was kind of odd because... Okay, so here, I'm so torn with it. Because what happened to chivalry? Like, a gentleman should not be pushing himself on you in the very beginning. Yeah. But there should also be some type of chemistry. If, like, the, by the third date, if you haven't tried to do a good night kiss, I might be thinking, are you okay? Or maybe it's just you. Maybe he doesn't want you. Maybe, like... Oh, he wants for clout? No, I'm just saying, like, the guy, like, that you're with or that you're around or whatever, they might not want you. Like, it just, to me, it seems oh. like there's a lot. So what, they want concert tickets? Yeah, no, I'm what just saying, I'm just saying with, with Tamar Brax, it just seems to have, a, a lot seems to come with it. I just feel mm -hmm. like if you're in a relationship with somebody like that and you're with her and you maybe even go to touch her or whatever, don't touch me. I'm not in the mood right now. Like, she just seems like, it, mm -hmm. she just doesn't seem like the type of woman that you, you go, you rub on her, you touch on her. Like, she's going to be like, oh, I like that, babe. Keep doing okay. it. Like, she just seems real, like, argumentative. And, like, this, oh, yeah. this seems like one of those situations, like, she was trying to have sex with this guy. He, he's probably tired or something like that. And, mm -hmm. and she's like, oh, you gay. You don't want to touch me. You gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it on well, Instagram. <laughs> I hope in four days she wasn't trying to throw the cat at him. Well, she was saying that, like, that. like, if you're with them and they, like, it, they go a week without trying to, like, do anything with you. So it's kind of like... Hmm. I think life gets in the way. It does. She'll be tired. Women don't have a long day of work and don't want to be touched. Her? Her? <laughs> but, Get but, off of me. But if the shoe was on the other foot and it was Ashanti... Mm. Yeah, oh, what you gonna do? I'm like, oh, she gay. She ain't trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think... Oh, girl, you must be gay. As I fine think, as I am. There I think life gets, yeah, I gets in. And I, I just thought it was what? an odd statement. Yeah, Tamar, be quiet. Be happy with your African. She's with that guy. Yeah. yeah. I know he looking like Tim. Mm -hmm. Take that pose down when people think it's about me. <laughs> you know what? It, it could. Mars Day for Mars Day and the Time. Okay. Has written a book, everybody. On Time, a princely life in funk. Back in the 1984 movie Purple Rain. Um, it kind of mentioned their rivalry. Mm -hmm. They had a big rivalry. There was a lot of fighting, and they were friends for, from teenagers, Morris Day and Prince, but then they broke apart. Mm -hmm. Morris writes in his book that Prince was surrounded by yes-men who were too scared to tell him or deny him his drugs. Prince, Morris Day, mm -hmm. reconciled two months before he died. Mm -hmm. He performed with them at Paisley Park yes. and said, I love you, man. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Yeah, and Mara said, I love you too. He said the prince have a premonition that he would no longer be here. Mm -hmm. He said it's harder. He talks about his battle with addiction in his 20s. Wow. Mara said had a problem. He said it's harder when you're older. With Prince in his 50s, it was harder to battle addiction. Do you think it's harder? Yeah, and yeah. you have to think about all that pain that he was in mm -hmm. from doing yeah. all those acrobatics during his show. That takes a toll on you. How old was Prince when he passed? 50-something. 50s, yeah. yeah. So I couldn't even imagine. And the excess is probably crazier, too, when you're yes. older and have, like, your Prince at this point. Well, no one tells you no. Right. It, who's going to tell you Everybody, no? Everybody. And it goes down in history. The greats. Yep. When you think Elvis, ain't nobody tell him no. He was 44, nope. and he was constipated as heck. Mm. Michael Jackson, ain't nobody tell him no. You nope. just think of the great Whitney. Why yes. did he leave her alone in that room? Why? And everybody, okay, I'll yeah. be, like, it's just, this is why I say it's so important for celebrities. Keep a no, keep a hater around you. Just keep somebody around you that yes. is there to check you. Yes. A yes. good yes. auntie, yes. just somebody to tell you no. That is so important. I'm a witness. I'm a witness because today Dexter got everybody lunch and he oh. never, he didn't get me lunch and he oh. never asked me how I felt or was I hungry or did, or did I want work. Oh. I'm playing a bunch of music in Philadelphia and this is what I had to get me through the day. I had this water. Oh. So I agree. Mm -hmm. Even though in my Diana Ross moment, okay. Dexter will say, no. What you need to eat for, girl? Patty, what I'm you gonna, need to eat? I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to bring you a Popeye's chicken sandwich tomorrow. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Body slamming people. Because I'm going to fight to get that sandwich for you. <laughs> no, no. I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. And all that grease and, and we, salt. We, you already beefing with Nelly. We ain't got to go running out Thank here because the, the, the employees are selling chicken sandwiches on the side. Then Ooh, they body salmon wow. people. We're good. And they going to look at you. Think We're you good. Oh, uh-uh. Yeah, no. <laughs> Dexter, you, you just stay. I'm going to be all right. Yep. Just let me know I'm sitting for the wedding. Okay. <laughs> Have some good food at your wedding. Please. Hope I ain't got to sit there and be hungry. Mm -hmm. People already think I'm losing weight for your wedding. You are losing okay, weight, though. Yes. I did say that the other day. You, you definitely are. Oh, well, thank you. Well, well, who's bringing me lunch? <laughs> who's feeding Auntie up in here? So I Auntie, guess your, Auntie drinking water. So your strategy is, is not to feed her so she can lose weight for your wife? No, not for the weight. I'm just saying. Oh. I just know that she's getting real skinny. Mm. Well, you don't bring me lunch. Hot girl fall. <laughs> <laughs> you don't bring me flowers. Nope. Mm -mm. You don't sing me love songs. Mm. What you got to say for yourself, young man? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> you just go to the barber <laughs> and get your hair cut. What time? Yeah. When you when you do that, Doug? What? Go to the barber and get your he hair cut. He went last week. Girl, he was funny when they go on their lunch break and get their hair cut. I know it's everything. I know it's people when we got their nails done who ain't got their hair done. See, I can't, I can't do that. I got a radio show that I got to do. I can't just like sneak off and, and then come back oh and act God. like ain't nothing happened. But well, they came into work brand new. But oh. I, but, but I, but Auntie not snitching. <laughs> It's not cute. Else is going not knowing. Not knowing. <laughs> Leave a comment. Channel is growing. Um, look for us to come roll, rolling down your alley. Thank Ooh. you so much for joining us. And if you are a veteran, thank yes. you. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks to all who served.